Hello and welcome back to my channel where we explore all things in real estate in beautiful Seattle, Washington. Today we're going to tackle a topic that's on everyone's mind, the cost of living in Seattle in 2023. Is Seattle still affordable? Let's find out. Seattle is known for its breathtaking natural beauty, thriving job market, and vibrant culture. Because of this, Seattle has experienced significant growth in the recent years. With this growth, comes changes to the cost of living. As a real estate agent, I've witnessed firsthand the changes in the housing market, which directly impacts the cost of living. So let's break it down to understand the affordability of Seattle. In order to understand the affordability of Seattle, we'll need to look at the cost of housing, transportation, groceries, healthcare, and the overall quality of life. We'll compare these factors with the national average to give you a clearer picture. First, let's talk about housing. Seattle has experienced a surge in demand over the past few years, thanks to its booming tech sector. As a result of so many people relocating to Seattle, housing prices have continued to rise. The median home price in 2023 in Seattle is around $800,000, depending on the neighborhood and property type you're looking at. Now keep in mind that these figures are approximate and subject to change, so it's always wise to consult with a local real estate professional for the most accurate and up-to-date information. If you would like to know pricing in a specific neighborhood or city surrounding Seattle, if you would like to know pricing in a specific neighborhood or city surrounding Seattle, send me a message or give me a call. I would love to help anytime. It is important to note that while the market has become more competitive, there are still opportunities for buyers, especially in the emerging neighborhoods and nearby suburbs of Seattle. Let's talk about transportation. Seattle has an efficient public transportation system, including buses, light rails, and ferries, and they're always improving it. However, like any major city, traffic is challenging during peak hours, probably more challenging than most. One of the monthly public transportation passes in Seattle could cost you $18 to 207 a month, depending on what your travel time and fare use is. If you prefer to drive, it's important to consider the cost of gas and parking and potential tolls, which can vary depending on your location and commute. We don't have a lot of tolls, but there are some. Parking is quite expensive. Fuel prices are slightly higher than the national average. Today, they're around $4.80 a gallon. So keep in mind that living closer to the city center might save you some commute time and expenses. When considering Seattle's cost of living, we need to factor in everyday expenses as well. Seattle's grocery prices, for instance, are above the national average. There are a wide range of farmers markets and local produce around that are affordable options that are available to help make your dollar stretch if you want to shop around. Seattle has a vibrant culinary scene and diverse dining options. So eating out can be as affordable or extravagant as you desire. A couple examples, espresso is anywhere from $5 to $6.50, depending on what place you go to. A burger is around $18 in a restaurant. A salad's around $18. Breakfast is around $15. When it comes to healthcare, Seattle boasts world-class medical facilities and has a robust healthcare system. Healthcare is higher than national average, but it's balanced by the quality and accessibility of care. So just about every major city near Seattle has a hospital. There are many highly acclaimed hospitals in Seattle. Swedish Hospital, Group Health, the VA Hospital, Evergreen, Seattle Children's Hospital, and I'm sure I'm missing a couple. Let's not forget about the amazing recreational opportunities Seattle has to offer. There are majestic mountains and stunning coastlines. This city is a paradise for outdoor enthusiasts. Many of these activities, such as hiking and biking, exploring the local parks, are accessible for little to no cost. Seattle offers a high quality of life and an abundance of amenities. There's parks and lots of recreational opportunities and cultural events. There's something for everyone to do and explore. There's hiking trails and art galleries. Seattle caters to a wide range of interests and hobbies. So is Seattle still an affordable city to live in 2023? The answer depends on your individual circumstances and priorities. 
While housing prices have increased, Seattle offers a thriving job market, excellent education options, and a vibrant lifestyle that continues to attract residents from all over. It's important to consider your budget and preferences and long-term goals when making a decision. I do want you to be prepared though and know that Seattle is higher than the national average in all of these categories.